the clarity here, it's super clear. It's, it's almost like it's regular daylight looking through this. This one kind of tops it and you can really see um, just that puddle and the edges and even the work piece around it. The other ones here, you can kind of see it's just a tint of blue, but for here, it's the whole spectrum of the color wheel. So I've been welding for about 23 years. About 15 years. 11 years now. I've been welding for four years. I've been welding for 14 years. I started out in the shipyard industry. Combination of fabrication, farm work. Ranging anywhere from heavy industrial, a uh, 3 8 inch plate, all the way down to sheet metal. Steel construction, uh, general fab work, also a lot of custom mods on vehicles. Aluminum grade from military. I'm here today to do some helmet testing. We have three helmets here. Let's get started. All right, this is the first one we're gonna check out. This one's pretty clear. It's very clear. I can see a lot of the color. This one's nice clear. Just normal color and everything is pretty, pretty damn clear in this one. It's the brightest one of the three. I feel like it's a little crisper. Pretty clear. And it's a touch darker than the first one. Got a little bit of a blue hint. Yeah, this one I'm getting some darkness to it. There's definitely a bluish hue to it. Ooh, but it's a little bit darker. Not as clear as the, the first one we tried. Maybe not quite as crisp. Um, personally, I feel like the first one might be a little bit better just for low light settings. It's got a nice clear vision of the puddle. It's got pretty clear light. Still pretty clear when I'm looking at the joint itself. I can see my well joint configuration pretty easily and see exactly where I'm at. Still really clear throughout the weld. I can still see my joint configuration for the most part. I can see the pants are really good. It's nice and crisp. And it's a touch darker than the first one. Really like this helmet so far. It's a little darker than the second one. Yeah, and this one is definitely the darkest. Darker than the first helmet. Just that green hue is the major difference. Just a little bit darker than I'd like it to be. All right, there's definitely more of a green tint to it. It's really hard to tell what color. It's all kind of just one hue. So I would say this is probably number one. This one is my favorite one so far. This one was definitely my favorite. I would go here. This would be my first. This one would be my number one choice. The middle one was my favorite for color. With this one here, you definitely can tell the difference of the light. It's the whole spectrum of the color wheel. So I feel like we have a clear winner here with this helmet. Um, before arc is initiated, um, in its clear state, it's very easy to see through this helmet. I feel like that's gonna be a significant gain when you're grinding or doing basic fit up, like if you're doing fabrication work, just tacking everything together. You don't actually have to lift your hood up because this is so clear and you can actually see what the colors are. Um, another thing I looked for too was while I was welding, could I see beyond the weld itself? And I feel like some of these helmets, I was able to see that and others it made it a little bit harder where it was just the weld itself that was bright. Uh, my preference would still lean toward this one. It made me feel like I was wearing sunglasses on a bright day. So that's just what I'm used to. I really like the, the clarity of that color. 